Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your New York Giants franchise mode. So, uh, I know the past couple episodes have been a little bit, uh, a little bit odd. You know, um, the shorter frames, or frame, shorter um, um, episodes, you know, it's been a bit, a bit hectic. But I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm recording these well in advance because I'm not going to, uh, not going to be able to um, upload over the holidays given that... Uh, given that um, I, I don't have the internet connection at home to be able to do that. So with that in mind, I, um, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, recording in advance. Sorry, guys, I just I have a lot in front of me right now that I'm looking at. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some of these Giants episodes out of the way. That being said, we're going to go back to the two games per episode format. So let's get into it here. Uh, Unstoppable Force. Obviously, we have the bye weeks. So we can take our time a little bit. Is it? The game just freeze? No. Cool, cool. Um, coach, you're facing Buccaneers. High-powered offense. Forcing turnovers. That's really... That, that's always going to be what stops high-powered offenses. Um, prospect highlight. Let's go ahead. Let's see what, uh, what prospect we're looking at. I actually took a look, guys. We are the last wild-card spot right now in the NFC. Let's see who are they telling me to take a look at. Cedric Saunders. Okay. Okay. I'll take a look at him. You know, why not? Uh, why, why not? Scout college players. Let's take a look. Turn uh, I'm not sure that I did any scouting, to be perfectly honest with you. At least not this far. Just gonna... Okay. It always takes a little bit, and I hate that about it, but... Okay. Rasheem Brewer. I really like that name, though we don't need an outside linebacker. I didn't mean to go to free safety. I want to go to corner. They're telling me to take a look at this guy. Um, I mean, it doesn't look all that impressive, to be perfectly honest with you. A catch. C zone. Now. It's kind of upsetting. Let's go back up here a bit. See if we can find anybody in the... See, like, Isaiah House, I like the look of. Though he's probably going to have C-man coverage. That might... Uh, I think I'd rather just take Archibald at that point. Um, in terms of... What else were we looking for? Definitely uh, a center. That's something. Chip Fiore, sure. Ben Ridgeway. Really like the look of him. Have to take a look at him later on in the draft. Wide receivers, do we need any? I mean, not not really, but I do think Josh McPhee could be interesting here. I uh, don't need a quarterback. Could use more tight ends. Could always use more tight ends. Um. Oh. Oh, Tremaine Woodard. Or, yeah, Woodard. That guy I like. I think he could be something. Um, looking at tackles here, because obviously, you know, I I don't feel super comfortable with Andrew Thomas right now, to be perfectly honest with y'all. It's, uh, he's not giving me the greatest reputation for him right now. So, um, not really seeing a whole lot there. Right tackle, there is a first rounder with A impact block, A awareness, terrible pass blocking, but decent run blocking. Take a look at him. Dave Cochran as well. Cochran? I'm not sure how to say that. Pass blocking's an A for him. Rob Coyle. Ooh, actually, Josh Carmichael might be the one we look at there. Very well-rounded. Um, but anyways, I think we're going to just go ahead and we'll, we'll leave that for the offseason. You know, we'll, we'll take a look at that more in the offseason. Um, they can all let them decide what they think is best. They've obviously been paying attention the whole time. I have not. So with all that being said... Uh, where are we looking? What are we looking at here? Nobody that I'm like, yeah, we gotta have you back. I mean, maybe, maybe Graham Gano, and even like, would he just take that? Sweet. Um, Julian Love. I mean, we drafted your replacement, so like, I don't really feel the need. Which reminds me, actually, I wanted to take a look. Is Julian Love starting? 
or is is Stackhouse? I can't remember off the top of my head. Julian Love is starting, which I don't love. I'd rather have Julian Love do that. Oh no, no. or Max start Max Stackhouse. I would rather have starting than Julian Love. We'll look at a different uh, corner to replace James Bradbury. So that's not a huge deal. Loving the middle linebacker situation, left outside linebacker. Aziz looks great. Barmore is playing well. You know, Demon Payne's a little bit let me down just a little bit, but you know he's it's also it's early in the season. So Evan Neal's looking good. Jason Kelsey's looking good as always. Broderick Jones looking good. Andrew Thomas actually looking better than expected. Uh, what about wide receiver? Yeah, we could really use another like top tier guy. Oh wait, Kadarius Tony is out with injury, so that does explain part of it. Fullback, yeah. Halfback, I feel very comfortable or comfortable and confident. I was going to say both of those, but you know what? We're just going to do it. I'm feeling very uh, comfortable and confident in them. Cornerback is where I have some questions, but I think wide receiver is also somewhere that we should spend some more time at. So I'll have to make a note of that mentally. That being said, let's get into the game. That's what you guys are here for. We're already what six minutes into this episode. May as well get it underway, you know. So uh, current crush. No, we're gonna go alternate classic. Yeah, we'll we'll rock that. Sure. Uh, and let's just ready up. Hope you guys are excited. I am extremely excited moving forward for this series. There we go. There's our man, Brian Dable. See there, C.J. Stroud. You know, not a not great stats last week with three interceptions. I forgot they drafted Tanner McKee. Um, yeah, we'll take it on. Let's see here. What do we want to do to start this off? I think, honestly, I think power. Let's just start this off with a nice run. Get some easy yards, hopefully. Make sure we seal away Vita Vea, or he's going to come back to haunt us. Ah, that edge, though. Couldn't do a whole lot there. I like this one because I really like Dawson Knox's route. Okay. Just taking, taking what they'll give us, you know. Slot cross, I like this. Just get us some, get, get yardage, um, get upfield, and then afterwards we can worry about whatever else is going on, you know. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Block for me. Okay, get out. Didn't really see a whole lot that I was like, yeah, that's open. So I just decided, you know what? We'll tuck it. Go quick base here. See what can we do with it. Oh, my Lord. They're, they're stuffing the run game. Run mesh. Uh... Ah, uh, not a whole lot. Andrew Thomas is hurt. No, 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 no. Um, what, what do I, um, SE corner. Yeah, because I like the Samuel and Wandell Robinson routes, as well as the Barkley one, depending on what he does with that option route. Curtis Samuel, just, you know, get in your head upfield. See if we can take a shot here. Split the safeties. Ooh, holy cow, that was a fadeaway throw, but you know what, it worked out. PA crossers, I really like this. Beautiful, beautiful, finds that hole. It's exactly what you want to be able to see out of your, out of what's currently our number one receiver. So, uh, big third down, make the stop. What can we do? All right, so we're going we're gonna to slide the D-line over because Fournette is likely going to, he's more likely to cut this way than that. Take up as much space here as we can. Yep, force him to throw underneath, and we will take that. Fourth and seven. Love to see it. They're going to punt. Okay, uh, third and five. I'm wondering if the draw will work here. Really hope so. Oh, it, it would have if I picked the right hole. Unfortunately, I did not do that. We're averaging two yards a carry. That's painful. Um, okay, what can we do here? In the red zone, it is first down, which is nice to see. D 
don't love it. Don't love... Oh, I think I got caught on my defense. Or my offensive... Uh, my tackle, his... Uh, oh, I wanted to sit. Make sure... You, yeah, get the feet down. Make sure that we... Uh, we we stay in bounds, you know, that's the, or not in bounds, but we make sure we make the catch. Uh, not sure if I want to run this. To be honest with, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured something like that was gonna happen. I got worried about that safety. That's why I threw to the the uh, underneath one of the two. I don't know if what I'm saying there makes sense, but uh, the one who is closer to... Okay, yeah, chip shot should make it. But uh, the one who is closer to us, I wanted to throw to, you know, safety as to go through another guy. But we'll take it. Let's go ahead and keep on moving. Okay, they get three. Two-minute drill here. I like this route by Miko. If they drop into a two-shell, let's see. Or even, oh, if it's a three. Okay, not a whole lot that we can do there. Going to just call the timeout. Oh, I hit the wrong play. Uh, you know what? Four verts, though. Yeah, give me that double mug look. Do it. Yeah, you won't stay there. Oh, I tried to get him to protect himself, hold on to the ball, but did not quite work out. I'm going to shift the D-line to the right here. Oh, Please tell me. Please tell me it's pass interference on them. That would be beautiful. Let's go. We get the, the beautiful thing about that is that we get the clock to stop and we get to move forward. Like oh, that's just, that's huge. That isn't and it converts it automatically. Ugh, I wanted to throw that down. You know, like, make him fall into the catch. You know what? Yeah, actually, yeah. I like this a lot. Hopefully, it's two. Ooh, okay. They played it well. I do give them that. Trail shake here. This should get us some yardage here. Ooh, they're playing press. Barkley, Hardman, Hardman. Oh, I had hoped. Not going to lie, I probably got way too greedy there. That's really what that was. Um, but that being said, we can still pin him in deep. I'm going to put some backspin on this ball. Oh, it's still in the end zone. Mm. Thought I had more room to play with than what I did, but it's all good. Do we get the stop? They do get another field goal, but that's all right. Oh! Big third down, make the stop. Oh, Lord. They're really mounting a comeback here. But you know what? We're going to slide this D-line over to the right a little bit. Yep, that's right. Chuck that out of bounds. Let's go. I'm going to be honest. I really think that it was just... Oh, Jesus. What can we do here? Uh, we're going to play this. Shift, shift the D-line over, you know. Oh yeah, just just throw the receiver. Our defense has not been great, I'll be honest, but uh, you know they've been pretty solid today. Unfortunately, our offense seems to be letting us down a little bit. I mean, we're just sliding Dexter Lawrence really at this point. It's not even, but it does pay off as KT gets in the backfield to bring down Lenny. Um, we're gonna go cover three here. You know what? No, I'm gonna play a stack house. Cover this middle part here. He's out of bounds. Doesn't matter. They're going to kick the field goal here. Grab themselves the... Uh, pardon me. Grab themselves a the tying field goal. It's going to give us four minutes and the ball. Is it the end of the game drive yet? I don't know. What I can tell you is that if we milk the clock right, it could be. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. If it'll give me the chance, it won't. Okay, second and ten. 
yeah, let's let's commit to the running game a little bit. You know, make sure that we can keep that clock going. Ah, not ideal, but gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go chew clock. We'll run dagger. I got some faith in this play. We're gonna slant there. Four knocks. What can we get here? What can we get out of it? Pass interference. We'll, we'll take that. We'll run the passer. Pass interference. I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm gonna go just power O. You know, just Ooh, we're gonna run this. Can I flip this? Yes. Beautiful. Love that a lot. Oh man. I thought I had. Ah, I should not have done that. Stay in bounds. Get down. Love it. And that's we're gonna take that to the two minute. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Game management there. Being able to control what's going on. Uh, I don't love that we're running at Vita Vea, but. The linebacker situation makes to where you kind of have to do that. Second and seven. Halfback dive. Uh, don't love that. Is there? It's not another running play. Just, hopefully they just double team him and move him. They were not able to move him. Okay, they're starting to use timeouts. That's a good sign. That being said, even if we get, like. As long as we can get past the sticks, I would rather just go down. I'm going to just roll out here. Bro, what? Bro, what? I tried to slide and it fumbled. Game is on the line here. That's very true. Defense, can you make a play for us? Okay, Stackhouse, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. Just bring him down. 12 looks wrong on a kicker. They called a timeout? Yeah. Down inbounds. Beautiful. Fifty four plus seven penalty. Holding. Oh, oh, okay. On their own forty six. We're gonna go prevent man here. They can't really do a whole lot else. Uh, we're gonna guess it's gonna be a pass because it is. Um, <laughs> Yeah, time's going to expire. Okay, we're going to go to overtime. You know, that's uh, not obviously where we wanted to be. But hey, it could be worse. It could be worse. We elect to receive. Let's go. Give me this. Come on, can we... We've already seen this. Whole, like, I don't understand. We've already done this. Elect to return metal. Um, what can we do here? St. Clair. Wanted to end it. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. St. Clair, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. Run some simple plays. Get yourself, you know, some... Get, get settled into the game, essentially. Three yards, we'll take it. Halfback dive. Definitely gonna run at the left side here. Ooh, did not get uh, did not get anything really. No. It's time.
slide the protection to the right. No! Oh my... Oh, jeez. They can get a field goal here to win it. Come on, defense. We need something. Bro. Run up the middle. That's what we're guessing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Slide back there. No no real reason to celebrate, but two minute warning. Oh Lord. I would have loved it if time could just expire and we could just end with the tie. But they do have timeouts. Oh, no, I guess... Oh. And that's how we're going to lose that one. An overtime loss to the 7-2. and two, Now 8-2, and two, I think. Buccaneers. In a game that we should have won. That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Oh, Lord. Let's go ahead. You know, it is the bye week. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What? He should be a lot higher. should be a lot higher. A lot higher. Um, but with that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're just going to simulate the week. Do, do, we still, do we still hold on to that playoff spot that I was telling you all about? Division winner, division winner, division winner. Wild card, division winner. Wild card, wild card, wild card. We're just outside at five and six. But we're right there. We are right there in the playoff race. So let's go ahead. Let's go through the, uh, the stats for this year so far. I mean, a nine to six. Oh, no, that's not even. That's okay. Stroud is who we need to be looking at. Eight to six. Oh, that's rough. That That is rough. You know what? I think it's all right. You know, he still is young. 230 yards per game. That's solid. What about rushing? Saquon almost has 1,000 yards already. You'd love to see that. Receiving-wise, Curtis Samuel's having a great year, especially after that free agency. You want to see that. Same with Dawson Knox. Uh, Mecole, doing well as well. Kadarius Tony's a little bit, uh, you know, not not having the greatest year. Not going to lie for a while, so I do a while, so I do a while, so I do have to give that. Uh, Wandale's coming in, in relief. Barkley, Barkley's done all right. Bellinger's done all right. Who's had the most receiving touchdowns for us? Six with Samuel. Blocking, I don't need to really see. D Solo tackles goes to Isaiah Simmons. Wow, or that total tackles. That was total tackles. Solo tackles probably also does, yeah. Uh, what about sacks? Nine for KT, eight for Ojolare. Four and a half for Payne, that's not bad. Three for Lawrence, two for Barmore. INTs, we've got... F Dude, he was a he was a great ad. I'm really happy that we got him. To have him on our to have him on our team. Have him on our team. Have him on our team. Our team. Our team. Pass to flex. Pass to flex. Flexion. Flexions. Flexions. We're looking at three for quite a few people. Catches allowed. Fumble. F two fumbles for Ojalare. Ojalare. Uh, one for Isaiah Simmons. One recovery for Simmons. One for KT. 56 yard return. I do remember that. That was a huge play. Huge play. So that's what it's looking like right now. That's what we're looking like right now. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we take on Vikings and the Bro. Oh, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out and good. Bye.